Hi, hello. Welcome to another video. <laughs> so I apologize in this video. I am I'm sick. So we're just gonna have a nice chill chatty sketchbook tour today. I've got my ginger tea. This is my 2018 sketchbook. Very 2018 to some date. Who knows when. And I specifically wanted to look over at this one because I feel like this was the sketchbook, like the year that I really fell in love with sketchbooking. And I feel like it has to do with a few components. Like one being this specific Strathmore mixed media sketchbook is my absolute favorite. I will only buy this now to sketch in. I specifically like the mixed media paper. This is my absolute favorite type of sketchbook. And I think the other reason um, is because I really let myself actually explore and try things I've always wanted to try and just use my sketchbook as a way of expressing myself instead of just you know, oh, I got a sketch today, I got to draw something today, just get something on the paper. Like, I was really intentional with just about, like, every page in here. But we're going to talk about that as we tour through. I've got my tea, I've got my blanket, <laughs> I've got my heater by my feet. <laughs> and yeah, let's get started. So here we have my beautiful Strathmore sketchbook. Um, the stickers on top. These two are actually mine. My first attempt at stickers. <laughs> it's pretty pretty fun, pretty cute. And then I have of course Gustav Klimt piece. My sister got me this little booklet of this Gustav Klimt um, stickers and I put one on each one of my sketchbooks. So we got that one and this one is made by my friend Sarah Perez. So, on this first page we have an ink drawing. By the time I was really embracing ink, and I really liked the textures that I got. You know, some like dry ink. Fun little sketch. And here we can see I didn't use both sides of the page for some reason. Some little sketches, pencil sketches. I think this was in the airport. This is when I was at the tail end of my K-pop phase, so. We got a little gem in there, which I really, actually really like this drawing. And another fashion ink drawing. And more K-pop. <laughs> but I like these drawings a lot too. Fun, fun. <laughs> Why am I not using the backside of these pages? <laughs> what the heck? Um, I remember this. I was in living in Massachusetts at the time. I wanted to... Do something besides people, besides portraits, and like I've always just wanted to draw birds, so I did. I did a page of birds, just little sketches. Uh, yes, I remember this page. I was inspired by by Minnie Small and how she sketchbooks, and what she does, she would just flip to a random page and start sketching or doing her thing instead of going in order from page to page. I started doing that as well, but I would I would write down the date so I could see my progression, you know, throughout the pages, but I didn't keep up with the dates at all of them. But I really like this page, like this was really an exploratory uh, spread. I wanted to explore how I use my pens and make my marks and my art. Like I did these ones first and realized like, I don't really like how harsh the lines are. They're a little thick for the look that I want. Whereas in these ones, I felt like they were nice and loose, flowy and lacy. <laughs> I think that was a really big jump for me as an artist to really be taking note of how I, I actually want to create and not just like hoping for the best when I create, you know? Um, but on this left side, I kept these pencil, and I wanted to experiment with watercolor and color pencil. Um, but yeah, these were just fun little doodles. This was like a big thing at the time. Everyone was like putting washi tape on their drawings and cutting it out, so it was like part of the drawing, you know, the clothing. Oh, and this is a portrait of my friend. You know who you are, hopefully. <laughs> This was a fun spread. 
the front page. This was done in July. Um, I just wanted to focus on, I don't know, just sketching in my style, I guess, like making an image my own. These are all from Pinterest, my main source of reference at the time. <laughs> I really like how they turned out. I like the texture of the pencil, the kind of lacy, loose flowiness of it. Yay, a two-page spread. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I was wanting to branch out more into environment drawings, which was a big step for me. So this was like a bedroom I designed in my sketchbook, and then I actually designed it further in my iPad, and it's still not finished. It's still sitting in my iPad. I think this was inspired by my actual room back in Massachusetts, but then I changed it up. And this was probably off Pinterest. I was really into like Japanese neighborhoods, Japanese streets. And this is my sister's plant. Cactus, which I think is dead now. And here I really like these portraits that I did. I think there's there's a few things I've changed. Like I don't really like the feathering of the pencil marks on the outline. I would make that a bit cleaner. But I like the shape of the face. Little pencil marks you can see, some hatching. And I love this one. I love the hair. And the shape of her face is so cool and pretty. <laughs> and I like that I erased the eyelashes to get that kind of look, not just like a dark eyelash look, but like, you know, like a light haired lash look. Hopefully my voice doesn't give out in the middle of the video so that I can talk throughout the whole thing. <laughs> Some more portraits. I just really love sketching portraits at the time. With this, I like, again, how I was able to kind of leave things out and just put detail in the face and keep everything else simple around it so the focus is all right there. It's really pretty. And here's another <laughs> attempt at an environment. I think this is a study from Pinterest. Gotta start somewhere. That's all I'm gonna say. This is when I got a red lead mechanical pencil. So I finally got one. I used it a lot then. I hate it now because it breaks all the time. So I don't like using that anymore, but it was a lot of fun. This is something we see a lot from now on. <laughs> Maybe not in this particular sketchbook, but in my art throughout the years, like since this. I just really like drawing girls with long, wet hair and making her kind of like creepy looking. I don't know why. So we got that. And then um, I drew this for my friend. Well, these are some studies for a final drawing that I did for my friend. <clears throat> And another blank page. Yay. And some more Pinterest environment experiments. I sketched, looks like I sketched this first and then went out at it with pen, but I don't think I really got a good solid foundation for it to be a good final pen piece. <laughs> um, I think to, this, this was late one night. I just wanted to draw some hands and experiment with watercolor. I was really into the texture you can get with watercolor. I think there was a specific artist I was looking at, but I can't remember who it is now. But I just loved the way that they layered their watercolor and got these really cool shapes and textures with the color and the depth of opacity or the transparent paint, you know? So I wanted to experiment with that and I had some gold ink that I was obsessed with and used on everything for a while. <laughs> um, and in this page, I drew my followers from Instagram with one pen and one pencil and one with full color. I really like how that one turned out. I forget how much I love watercolor. I don't use it nearly enough. It's really lovely. And this was, I don't really remember this page that much, to be honest. I remember these ones. I really liked the shape and form language I was getting and the stylization of the characters. Oh, I like the hand. That's nice. A study I did before, I did the final Harry Potter piece. For a while, I would draw something Harry Potter for his birthday every year. That was only like a couple of years. I really liked the final one of this one. I don't know where it is now. But here was just some more experimenting with medium. I wanted to mix up... Um, colored pencil and pen. I felt like the pen was too overwhelming and I kind of lost control of it in the hair especially. Looking at it now, it's not too bad, but I can see that I wasn't too intentional. It was a lot of control. But you gotta experiment, do things to see what you like and don't like. And I like the simplicity of this one. I like the mix of using blue in her hair. I love the lines in there. I think it's fun. I think I just had this idea in mind of this girl at this um, angle and wanted to draw it. I like this one a lot more. I love the shape and the gesture we've got going on in there. It's really pretty. And another environment. Oh yeah, I remember this page. 
this was like a you know sometimes there are those moments in art like you're doing sketches every day or practicing every day and you feel like you're not making those strides that you're wanting but then you get to this day and you do this painting and you're like wow I'm an artist I'm good I know what I'm doing you know when you get to those points this was one of those days I wanted to experiment with um watercolor and lighting and color is something I struggle with especially color just applying it and having control like I feel like I just don't know exactly what I'm doing and I think that the limited color palette really helps me with this one. I didn't like this one at the time, but I like it now. But this one, absolutely love. I love the layering you can see with the watercolor, the texture. I love the texture of the pen marks in there. And the shape of the ears I think is really fun. And Just all the little marks I made, like everything was very intentional and not just like, oh, I hope this turns out well. I took my time with it and all these things I had practiced before went into this. Love this. Love this page. Love this page too. I just really like these drawings. Again, I was just trying to capture references in my style, how I would express and draw these people. Oh, um, I took my sisters to a GOT7 concert. I didn't get actual photos of the night we were there. We were like in the back back. I got the cheapest tickets. <laughs> But it was so awesome. My first concert I'd ever been to. It was so much fun. And I found these photos from online. It was such a fun night. And then I have this portrait of Jaden. You can still see those textures that I really like. And information we don't need is taken out. It's a little busy in some areas. A little sketchy, but beautiful. These are Mark. These are fun. Mark from Got7. Another environment drawing. I feel like I can see a little bit of improvement, but it's still kind of the same. Just very messy, and at least I'm just getting something on the page. And I loved uh, electric poles, light poles, and just get, putting all the wires in there. That's what I really wanted to get to when I was drawing these. <laughs> and this was a drawing I did, and I started doing some studies. I wanted to make it into a final painting. Which I worked on, but I never finished. I don't think the drawing was ever solid. I didn't have a good composition. Couldn't execute it quite to the potential I was seeing. But you know, all those studies of environment were starting to pay off. Like I was trying to implement what I've been learning, which is good. <laughs> I just need to learn a bit more. Oh, and I love this page. This was in April. Got the date there. <laughs> See, I misspelled road and Rhode Island at first. And like, I know I still have it distinct in my memory. I was like, I know how it's spelled. I better not spell it wrong so I can post this and not be like, I misspelled Rhode Island. <laughs> but I misspelled it anyway, even though I knew <laughs> and I was telling myself, gotta spell it R H O D E. And I still mess it up. But I went on a trip with my sister to Rhode Island. We went to an art store. The only art, <laughs> art store close to us was in Rhode Island. We did some sketching by the water, picked some flowers, put in some quotes. This was definitely inspired by Minnie Small. She like talks about how she journals in her sketchbooks, not just like sketches, but you know, she documents her journeys and everything through art. And I wanted to try that. Sketched my sister, took some photos of her. Did a painting of her, which I don't really like this painting, but hey, I did something. I practiced. <laughs> yeah, I still really love this page. Something It's something I definitely want to do more, just express and document my life more through art. Well, this is a pretty simple page. I like this drawing. I like the lines in there. I'm getting some form. That's nice. <sighs> Watercolor test. That is ugly. Remember I hated that then, I still hate it. But this I absolutely love. Playing with layering and leaving some areas raw with paper instead of painting. Love that depth there. Using blue to shade. Wow. Oh, not there. That's not too good. I was kind of getting a sense of color temperature though. I was trying to get a warm, warmish blue. And this is kind of, I don't know. I'm still trying to learn color. I've taken so many color classes. TA'd so many color classes. I'm still learning. Color's hard for me, but I'm gonna learn. But yeah, I love this. I love this painting. Y'all and I love this page too. 
This was a study, like a concept for my Just Peachy calendar that I did. Um, I just loved her form, her body language going on there. And this page, I just wanted to paint some clothes from Pinterest and play with watercolor texture and of course the line. I still have that nice, thin, loose, lacy line that I liked from the beginning of my sketchbook here. I was still keeping that into practice. I love these drawings. I love the painting. I think I could push value a lot more. I think that's something I would do now. I think then, when I was still very timid with color and painting, I kept everything very light and very conservative. Now I would just go in with a nice wash and get some value contrast in there. These are some more con concepts for my just peachy calendar. And these are just some experiments with color pencil and pen and marker just to do something kind of out of my comfort zone and push a little bit. I don't use vibrant colors often, but I do like that kind of simple color palette um, that some people use, like graphic colors, just black and then like a bright color. I thought that would be fun, so I just did a little one there. And then I went back to soft stuff with color pencils. And I like this. I like the, the hair. I like the contrast of the, the brush pen to the um, delicate pencil. I think that's really fun. And I really like it here too. It's more just peachy. I think this is my character, Ezra, that I've had for years. I think I developed him when I was in middle school. And a little building, Japanese building. I was obsessed with those, and those wires, of course. Some more Just Peachy concepts, which I didn't use, but I still love these. I really like drawing the backs of guys' heads with this haircut for a while. I did that for a while. And a nice bum. Look at that bum. I was so proud of that bum. That is, that is beautiful. <laughs> but she's also got like six fingers. I really like this. I like the stylization of her face, her body, the juxtaposition there. And this was another concept. I think I was starting to do a bit more religious stuff at this point. I wanted to express my faith a bit more. I really like that hand. I think it's a really pretty hand. I think I took a bunch of like photo references of myself to get a good... <laughs> but I actually started using references from my own photo. Like take, taking my own references instead of just trying to find the perfect one on Pinterest. I realized, oh, I could take a photo myself. I like the simplicity of it. I think it's something that you just look at it and you gotta kind of figure out the meaning for yourself, what it means to you. Like it's got my own meaning to it, but. And it's more just peachy and just peachy concept. I really like this drawing. I like the shading that I got in there. And this was some concept and practice for a drawing I was doing for a friend slash follower. She loved my art. She was so cute. And I just wanted to give her something because she was so awesome and so nice and was so supportive of me and my art. So I was like, okay, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw you something. <laughs> and I really liked the final drawing. I really liked that drawing. I really liked the pencil marks I got in it in the final one. That's kind of also when I realized and wanted to embrace that I just love pencil and that's okay. Art isn't finished when you add color to it. It's finished when you say it's finished. And that's something that I've had to relearn and reteach myself. Pencil can be finished just as much as paint can. So, and this is another concept I wanted to do. I never finished it, but I really like that drawing. I like all the movement we've got. That shape, that hand is beautiful. Again, I took my own reference for it. But then I think I ended the sketchbook with just doing a bunch of gesture drawings. Though I got frustrated because I'm like, wow, these are ugly. But that's kind of the point. These were like timed gesture drawings just to get the movement and I didn't really understand that yet. <laughs> so I was doing better than I thought. <laughs> and this is when I was getting frustrated. <laughs> I wanted to practice some expression. I really like these. I love her profile. I think it's really pretty. I like this character. That's kind of creepy. I'm not gonna lie. But oh. This is one drawing that I think about all the time. Like all the time. I just love it so much. And now that I'm pregnant, I love it even more. 
I just think it's so beautiful. I love her shape, the flow, the like, I don't know. I was just really feeling empowered by the gift we or I have as a woman to create life. I think it's just such a beautiful, beautiful thing that we are able to do. That was expressed in this and it's something that I definitely want to finish and um, make into a final piece. Cause I just love it so much. I love her body. I think it's just beautiful. Like another thing that I, I've learned like through my sketchbooks or from my past of drawing is that I just love drawing figures. I love the human body. I think it's so beautiful. I just love expressing and showing that in a way that shows an appreciation of the human body. Like, I don't want to portray it in a way that's degrading or sexual, over, overly sexualized, but really just to show an ap appreciation of God's gift of our bodies. I feel like I, that's something I was able to express in this drawing. I just love that. And then here we've got a friend from, a co-worker actually, actually. I drew him and his brother. I like the, the detail I got in the faces and everything else is simplified. I think it's a really cool aesthetic. And then the last page was a thing going around on Instagram. You know, to get to know the artist, we shared some quirks. <laughs> Mine were that my feet, specifically my toes, always crack. They still do. Like I walk in a silent room and my toes just crack, 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 crack. You just know where I am all the time. And at the time, I don't think I do it now, but... I would clench my jaw a lot when concentrating. And another one is my face gets super red. Like when exercising, when I'm embarrassed, it's just, it's super, super bright red. I can't hide it. So yeah, that is my 2018 sketchbook. I learned a lot just by looking through it and remembering the things that I loved the things that made me feel like I was really expressing myself and that influenced my art at the time. And it definitely has a lot of things that um, I want to be doing now and using now. I hope you guys learned something from this video, whether you're an artist like myself or not. You know, learn from the things you used to do and love and analyze why it made you happy and why you loved it. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!